Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. Today I'm going to talk about uh, one of the emails that I received uh, from a member and uh, he's, he wanted to basically start looking for a system administrator skills, uh, how, to, how to get started with the learning process. So this is the email that I got. First, uh, hello Dan. First of all, thank you for all the videos in the YouTube and all the help you provide to the IT community. Thank you so much, brother. Right now, I have been working in IT field for two years uh, as a help desk one, two, and some level three, but I'm really looking forward to become a system administrator, and I see that you have the courses to achieve my goals, but I just want to to know uh, where do I start and uh, how do I how do I uh, how can I do it basically thank you in advance best regards so you know this is a very common question I get in this platform uh, we've been teaching for almost five years now so we have people who have landed jobs in the beginning uh, you know like the first two years and then they wanted to become a sysadmin so we have you know uh, went through and created some kind of pathway for them as well but again system administrator is not something where um, the way we have done it in, like in our IT support like if you go to your portal and you click on the job title certification this is our new way of kind of leading people towards a, a learning path just like what you were having uh, a query that how do I start like where do I start all that stuff so we have done that so so this is going to be a little different side because system administrator is a very, uh, you know, broader uh, title for a lot of different skills. You know, even Linux Unix will call you a system system administrator, but they're going to put Linux Unix in their uh, requirements. So the first action that you can do is to actually go to Indeed.com and look at junior system administrator jobs around you and, you know, gather like 15, 20 jobs and then do a comparison. See what, what is the common thing that you see. Is it is it VM? I'm sure there's going to be server stuff. Is it? Are there some specific certification that everybody's looking for? Is it preferred? Is it required? Required is different than preferred, right? Is it skills? Uh, you know, uh, degree versus it's okay to have you know a few years of experience, which a lot of people will look in experience for system administrator, and you probably know this by now. So. That's the, the, that's the first thing you should do, you know, gather information because then you want to prepare yourself. The second is that are you trying to move up in the same company, then look at what they're using, what kind of technology they're using. They may have a web server uh, running on, you know, Linux or um, maybe something else or maybe Windows Server, IIS web server or maybe they're using some type of cdn like cloudflare you know these are different technologies that are there they have taken over uh you know the sysadmin jobs like you know we work on iis on the on the servers but it's not just servers anymore we don't work inside the operating system that much we actually work on applications web servers where it's being cached the issues with that logging monitoring you know databases with it everything is so kind of like you know everywhere basically it's kind of like all over so you can't just say that i'm gonna i'm gonna start training for a server right here like you know just server training and then you're gonna become a sysadmin so that would be your first step just to kind of gather information around your area that would be my suggestion to you first and then what you want to do after that if you want to practically start of course this this is stuff that is going to cost you a little money you know that by now but when you do the real world labs it, it costs money for all this uh, you know labs and everything so my suggestion to you would be to Go to job skill, uh, job skill Share community, log in, click on Jobs Title Certification. We have started working on this title right now. So you can see if you click here, you will see the first course is a System Administrator Fundamental course. So if you go down, this is where it is. It says Windows Server Administration Fundamental. So you're kind of you're fundamentally getting ready for a sysadmin job so you're going to click on it and this is not completed by the way you can you can go in there there's going to be a lot of videos so you will see a practice lab uh, you know, uh, an instructor will be explaining things and then later on uh, you can actually do it inside the lab. So when you become a premium member, you access to this premium membership and then you basically open the same lab. You're going to come over here and you will open that that fundamental uh, so, uh, Windows Server fundamental course right here. So you see you have then a, a video 
that you're watching and then you have something to practice. In a sysadmin job, it's all about practice. You really got to get into that server and do things and then work on it. Now, of course, that's not it, right? You you see that there's so many other courses. So my, my suggestion to you is in the beginning, if you want to do this, then you want to finish, at least finish this one and this course. So, and, and of course, then you will be taking this course inside the lab. Like I would want you to do it hands-on rather than just watching these videos. Just come here and do these two hands-on so you can learn this stuff and you can actually tell people that you have done some server stuff, okay? After that, since you're a member, then you get access as a premium member you get access to this big two radical courses and here you will come in and basically you will just kind of go in there and look for the same like you know system administration type of server type of uh, courses like for example installing and configuring windows 2012 r2 i know you probably went through this stuff but try to find the new stuff in there too there's 2016 stuff in there and so there's a labs in there too so you may want to just proceed after 2012 you want to proceed what's in 2016 so people can ask you questions and especially look into something like 2012 upgrades and stuff like that because that's where a lot of people will be looking for those type of skills now like i mentioned it's not just servers you need to go in there then learn about Cloudflare. i mean this is the place where everybody's on right now we we rely on a, a, a con like caching system where it does security for us it does a lot of things for us you know as a sysadmin this makes our job easier and also it's um, it's it's what it is this is a trend these days you know our servers are not just we're not serving our servers from a local area anymore we are hybrid this these days a lot of people have servers inside the house and they have outside and then they have these these type of technologies like cloudflare where they cache our content and then issues related to this is going to be a sysadmin job because i was working on a request where somebody said that when i clicked when when a member clicked on a file they see 2019 but when i clicked on it it says 2020 because that person was internal so internally that was the servers was not cached but outside people were actually on cloudflare so their content was cached so you see you you as a sysadmin then had to come and see figure out okay this seems to be a, like a cached issue so i'm going to go in there and remove the cache and then it got everything uh, brand new from the local servers you see these are the things that you're going to be working on so i would highly uh, you know recommend that you come here and learn about cloth there then the next thing is the IIS of course you know if you're working for a big company as a system a system administrator you're definitely working on a on a web servers and who, where are web servers running from the servers so you're going to be the responsible person to do the security for it to maybe uh, looking for like you know if you have uh, some IP that you want to track down let's say it's, it's running on a cloud flare but you want to know the real IP addresses behind that cached uh, system then you need to do some configuration in your IIS and that's going to be your job looking for logs looking for issues looking for tracing logs all that kind of stuff will be coming from this web server skills then of course we're moving towards this whole cloud system and most of the you know the cloud systems like azure uh and office 365 is controlled by microsoft but they gives you a lot of ability to do powershell stuff like how do you get in and do bulk stuff or try to get more advanced stuff from your from their servers then you need to know about powershell so you see this is another thing that you need to learn uh, to to get moving. So another part is which which is a basic part for every sys administrator is this monitoring. You know you need to monitor the servers and whatever equipments are there and applications in that in that building. They may be using different software, but SpiceWorks monitoring tool is another one that you can practice on. And lastly. I talked about recently the jobs could share if you go to jobs could share on youtube and click on this video just type jobs could share azure click on this video jobs azure will take over system administrator jobs and in that i explain why you need to now learn about the cloud uh, you know technologies like azure because our jobs our servers are moving here and this is where the skills are going to move right now like you're going to see in in the next few years the the ratio of your skills working on the cloud systems are going to be more than the ratio of you just learning a, a straight up server stuff like from here so both are important at this point but again it's a combination of skills that you it's going to take you to the sysadmin uh you know jobs where you're comfortably doing your job 
Now, you may look at this and say, okay, this is a lot of stuff, you know, how do I really get started in the beginning? So let me just sum summarize. All you got to do is to do the fundamental in the lab environment and take it from here too. And do this one too, take it from here and do it in the lab environment. And then kind of study around what's, what do you need a little bit more than that and kind of like proceed with that just slowly, slowly. And when you go to interviews, when you go to these junior level interviews, make sure you tell them you are doing fundamentals here and you have done Server Plus and I'm willing to learn everything else that comes with it. So that's why people are going to hire you because now they know you know the basics of servers and everything and rest they can teach you and you can learn. That's something you have to just kind of sell yourself in the interview. Of course, we're making this really, really nice like our, our entry level courses. And one day we'll have this also completed so nobody will be going around other places. We're all going to complete everything and put it in one area. But of course, that's going to take time. And the last option is that you can take live training with us. And that's your option. We do customized um, sysadmin training for junior levels. So that's another option that you can take. You can contact us and we can tell you the pricing and, and the schedule. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you and hopes you practically start something from this video. Thank you.